Okay, so here is an example of a logbook that I'm doing for a different project. And it's one that I'm doing for um, a, a website I'm designing about sustainability and the environment. So I've created a section up here just where I can dump things like links to videos, links to online free images, of which I'm sure you've been using these. A uh, rough idea of a, a wireframe that I liked that I might use later. Within the actual uh, website logbook that I'm creating, I started by firstly thinking about the persona. Who are my target audience? And I decided that in my case, for this website, I need a student from 18 to 30. I did some research and came up with some attributes and that in turn has helped um, me decide what are the most appropriate images that I might like to use within my website and from there I've also selected a color palette and while I'm at it I've created uh, I've started making a reference list using Harvard referencing and the template provided which I'll also be giving you uh, in my example logbook, and you're welcome to use that. So having done a bit of initial research, I then uh, looked at the existing material I had, and I came up with the idea of what would be the main groupings that I would use for my website. And this is going to be how I arrive at what navigation links I'm going to have. So I've come up with four main links that I'll have in my main navigation and within them I'm going to create three smaller pages on these ones, four on that and two on this. Plus at the bottom in the footer area I'm going to have some extra pages referring to copyright and privacy information. I'm going to put some testimonials over to the left and perhaps some links to social media although I may choose at a later time to put those links at the bottom of each posting. As I said before, I've come up with a, a wireframe that I'm going to use, and in fact, I've, I've got a Photoshop file that I've been playing around with. That's all I'll cover in this one. In the next one, I'm going to talk about website testing and the reflective elements.